when devastating monsoon rains washed away homes across Pakistan last year, the conical houses in Pono village remained standing. There was a lot of water here. I took my kids and belongings and moved to the community center here that was built three, four years ago. There was no water in it. We stayed there safely. Located deep into Pakistan's southern Sindh province, Pono is built as a model of climate change adaptation. Here, instead of using concrete or bricks, sturdy houses are built with bamboo, clay, lime and husk. The natural materials are inexpensive, easily available and don't harm the environment. Rooms stay cool in long sweltering summers. In the rainy season, pointed roofs allow water to wash off quickly, preventing collapse. Raised entrances help keep water from entering homes. The village is designed by acclaimed Pakistani architect Jasmine Lari, who had a change of heart after working in the corporate sector for years. I felt that I'd got caught in the whole corporate sector kind of, you know, scenario where you kept on kind of trying to um, do things, you know, for, for the rich. I led a very kind of uh, protected and rather uh, privileged life where one didn't know much about poverty. A 2005 earthquake that killed nearly 80,000 people in northern Pakistan pushed Lari to think of disaster-resilient housing. She turned to old building techniques used in the southern deserts and northern mountains of Pakistan. I cannot seek refuge by saying it's emergency, so I can use any kind of material. It doesn't matter how much it hurts the planet. That's no, that's not, I mean, it's just not acceptable in today's world when we, with the threat of climate change is so imminent. Pakistan is among countries that are most affected by climate change. These houses may look simple, but they show that affordable, sustainable and safe housing options are possible when local materials and techniques are coupled with smart design. With help from volunteers, Lari's teams have trained locals who have built thousands of disaster-resilient houses and environmentally friendly shelters. Most houses in Pono were built after last year's flood and are quickly becoming popular in the area. People in other villages are saying we also want a house like this. Lari's mission has grown to creating self-sustaining communities. Solar-powered batteries generate electricity for houses in Pono. Families grow their own food in community gardens. Hand pumps bring water long distances, saving women hours of labor. Some are using that time to create small businesses at home. Her Pakistan Chula, a reimagined version of the common earthen stove, is also popular among rural women and is a source of income for many. I go to other villages on a motorcycle with my husband. I train women to make it, earn money and come back in the evening. As Pakistan looks to the international community to help it rebuild after last year's massive floods that affected 33 million people, Lari believes foreign aid is not the solution. Don't give any handouts. We have to build up their skills and their capacities and then they can do wonders. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Pono, Pakistan.